on the interface inside uh, you need a power supply to provide power to the RDCU to turn it on no? so here we give 220 volts and we get 24 volts in return no? this 24 volt we connect via a 3 pin connector to the power input of the RDCU as you can see in the video so it's connected on the upper right end which is the power input of the RTCU so this is the complete view of the RTCU as you can see you know uh, it has a DDCS communication port on the bottom side this one right here you no know? uh, these are the fiber optic connection which is going to a RUSB adapter which is a prof uh, which is a fiber optic to USB adapter and this side you plug into the laptop once you establish a communication uh, you will see that the active light as well as the RX and TX light will start blinking on this adapter now for the backing up process we open the drive window we have version 2.30 this is the software by the ABB to complete this task here you select the correct communication protocol to establish the communication which is ABB SMP as highlighted in the blue color you select OK from there now it's trying to connect with the drive as you can see in the bottom left corner is trying to connect saying connecting so in the navigation tree you will find that there is one TDS 11 SH file drive and once you double click this one you will see a lot of configurations and options relevant to that controller so this is all the options for this particular drive and last one is the status and the properties parameters and whatnot we have everything in this one so in order to have a complete backup package so you go into the file system software you go to new and you create backup package so this will tell the program that we are about to create a backup package into the memory which we will use to store in our PC so again you go to system software now you have all these other options enabled you go to backup all and it will start backupping all the things that we have in this controller so as you can see the process is started it's quite long it will take like five to six minutes so we will speed up the video for your assistance huh? so you don't have to watch this whole process so I will speed up this video right now and as you can see it's uh, it will move quite fastly and in the end you might hear a click sound from the RDCU and this marks the end of this process and resets the controller so this will indicate that the backup process is complete and you have the complete file into the memory it's not yet stored on the PC but it has gone into the memory of this program so once you finish this process as you can see there is a reset uh, written on this process no? as you can see uh, on the pop-up so now this pop-up will disappear and to simply add it to the directory to get to the directory option what you will do is you will close this program as we are about to do here so we will now uh, close and it will ask hey you make some backup package what you want to do with this one do you want to save and we will say yes yes we want to save this one now it will give you a directory you know where you want to save this one I have already created a, a directory on the desktop and uh, use appropriate names and uh, uh, time and location of this uh, RTCU uh, this controller so you can easily track this one for the futures no? so as you can see that I have already created a folder and we have also have subfolder this one is by the way drive B which is the slave drive in our setup so you name the backup package accordingly what you want to name for example in our case it's a drive B by ABB so we will name it accordingly drive B and we might also add the type of RDCU and we can also add the date upon which we take this backup as you can see we are doing right now so 23 4 2025 this is the current date and let's add ABB for fun so once you are finished with the naming you can go ahead and press the save button 
and this will save this backup package in your chosen directory always double check uh, that the program is fully saved and you can open this directory on your PC and I saved it into drive P and there it is we have the whole backup package the extension is dot BPG so you can use this one to restore next time uh, which is coming in this following video so guys let's uh, now let's try to restore from this backup package again we open drive window uh, again we get the communication protocol we select this one and right now it's trying to connect to the drive to the controller that is connected via the RUSB so it has detected the drive now we want to restore this backup package file system software now you press open so now what you're doing is that we are loading the program from our PC into the memory of this software no? so we have opened this one and now we will have the restore option enabled so we again go to the file we go to the system software we go to restore and we press this one and now it will say that hey we have selected a drive for you okay where you want to save it from you press yes yes and this one and now the restore process have begun uh, this is also a very lengthy process it can take approximately let's say 8 to 13 minutes depending on the processing speed of your computer so let's speed up this process for your convenience and a, a, similar to the backing up you will also hear a visible click at the end of this process and this will be the reset of the drive and this will mark the end of this process of the restoring no? so as you can see that currently it is being restored from our backup in the PC to our connected drive controller so this process is moving quite fast because of the speed up process and and we are about to approach the end as you can see the blue bar is almost full and we will finally get this a uh, reset text on this pop-up which will mark the end of this process no? so after this you will hear a click from the RDCU from the controller unit and uh, the process has now successfully uh, ended and your file your backup package has been restored to this RDCU okay now you can plug and play this RDCU to your drive and thank you